Hi, welcome back to LaTeX. Today we're gonna to create a professional letter. It's gonna have just the basics and then we'll get a little more advanced towards the end, but let's go ahead and get started. So here we've got Tech Studio open. So I'm gonna create a new document, new document just like that. And we're gonna look at a few options here. So the few options we're gonna to try to, let's see if I've got that there, there we go. We'll pop that in. And what we've got is the date, the beginning of the letter and specifying the recipient, the address, that's our address, the opening, a signature and closing. Now you do have to put the signature before the closing. If you don't, then your signature won't pop up. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and get started creating a letter. So we've got six options here. We need to keep in mind those six options. First, we'll create a document class, letter. No packages needed at all. We can just go straight into it. We can type over here, begin document. And then once we begin the document, we're actually going to begin a letter. So we will be going through and uh, choosing the, the letter itself and beginning the letter. Oh, I guess I should mention, uh, we can put the date just about anywhere. So if you want to put the date right here, you can. You can put it at the end of the letter. You can also put it in the preamble, which is just crazy. Uh, the date seems to be a very flexible. So we'll go right here, date. We'll just make it today. So now I'm going to type begin letter. In this case, when I do that, and I close, the, uh, I close those braces there, I'm going to open a new brace. And this is going to be the recipient's name and address. So we're going to say... Uh, I'll just put recipient, recipient, <laughs> if I can type it, recipient, I'll just put name. And then we'll put a couple of slashes there, so slash slash, just like that. And recip address one, slash slash, recip address line two. And um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that, I think. That's probably good enough. Well, maybe put uh, recip address line three there. just. Three lines. So we've got that in there for the recipient now. Now, next we're gonna put in our address. So we're gonna put in backslash address, and this is gonna be our address. This is our name and address. So we're gonna put in, oh, we'll put our, we'll just call ourselves uh, John Doe. And we'll say this is our address one, our address two, and our address three. Now I've never done it just typing our address. I usually put names in there, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't have any problems with that. Now we'll go ahead and create a uh, the name for it here. We're gonna say this is Jane Doe, so the recipient name. We'll say greetings recipient name actually, just do that with uh, opening. So we're gonna opening here, opening, and we'll say greetings, uh, we'll just say Jane Doe. We'll say Jane Doe. We'll do that. That way you can see what fields go where. So you can see how the recipient name is treated in the document and how it's, you know, not modified by typing this here. Then we'll have the, the letter text. I'll just say goes here. There we go. Uh, more text here like that. And then we'll go ahead and close it out. So we're going to go ahead and put our signature. Signature. John Doe, that's gonna be our name, whatever our name might be. And you do have to spell signature right. Sig Nutcher, there you go. And then we'll do our closing. And the closing here is going to just simply be like best regards. We'll just say best regards. Like that. Then remember whatever we begin, we need to end. So we'll go through it and say end a letter like that. And we already have the end of the document specified. So let's go ahead and view this and see if I have any errors in there or not. Nope, seems to have worked out just fine. Okay, so what we have here is a formal letter. So we've got the John Doe right over there, that's us. And then we have a recipient right over there, that's them. So us and them. We have our date properly spaced out. We have our greetings there, some letter text our best regards and John Doe there. And you can also insert a graphic at that point as well. So this is our basic letter. And anything beyond this, we're gonna start looking into some very advanced options. So let's go ahead and just kind of look at what those options are. And you can figure out where you might want to put those in the future. Okay, I'm gonna pop up Gummy now and we'll look at some of those options. So here we go.
So right there at the beginning, we have options that are associated with the letter. So once we go over and we type letter, we can put in front of it 10 point, 11 point, 12 point. We can say if it's A4 paper or letter paper, we can talk about it being landscape. Uh, we can put a title page in there, no title page, make it two columns, be reared, um, draft, final, etc. So we can do a whole bunch of options like that. We can also do for CC, so for carbon copy, so for if we want to copy another recipient, we can put a postscript script in there, a PS. We can put a uh, enclosure, so a, a backslash ENCL, on top of our regular commands that we use inside our, of our LaTeX. So let's look at a couple of those options. In fact, we're just going to look at the, uh, the A4 paper, a letter paper, and changing the size of the font. So if we go over here at the top and we type a4 paper, just like that. I put a comma and we put 12 point. We'll just see if it likes that. There we go. So now we've changed it to an A4 paper and we've changed our font to 12 point. Now, can we go higher than that? So if you want to try to do something like 18, you can give it a shot, but normally 10, 11, and 12 is all it's going to give you. So we'll go over here and do 10 and we can go over and create that, do 11, and you'll see the change, and then 12, and you'll see the change over there as well. Now we can also over here and type letter paper, which is the default, because it's a letter, oops, oops, paper, there we go. So we got letter paper, and we've got that, now it's on a standard letter size page. Beyond that, if you want to include the things like they're in enclosures or there's a PS or there's a CC, then what you'll just do is go into the letter and you'll pop those options in. So after the closing here, I'll go ahead and try to put it after the closing. Uh, sometimes after closing, those options don't show up. So I'll put ENCL. Uh, this is also here and I'll just put that enclosure and we'll see if it comes in after the closing. Okay, there we go. So we got that. And I'll put a PS in there, so backslash PS. And this is also mentioned, or should be mentioned, just like that. So, done. So that is an example of the basic letter options and getting a few more advanced letter options there where we do letter paper and 12 point, which is rather still rather simplistic in LaTeX. I hope that this has helped and I look forward to talking to you again in the future.